I'm actually getting scammed by this game. This game, it's like it's like a drug dealer, okay? It, it, it deals you, you know, the black tar crack. And, and then, you know, it gave me Vor Hallen. I uh, grinded to 100 wins. And then I lose to, like, a few actual, uh, genuine terrible players. Like, plat players. 20, 2100s, 2k elo players. I, I, I'm losing to them. And then, and then Vor Hallen's gone. And now it makes me go back in the queue. It's like, you know when you hit diamond for the first time in the season, right? You get a diamond in, like, 10 wins. And you're like, oh, okay, done. I'm finished. Now I don't have to. T if I don't want to, I don't have to touch ranked. But now that I've hit for Holland, I've had a taste. It gave me the little, the little trial. You know, like when, when, when Walter White walks in the building, he, he gives him the, the bit with the crystal meth. You know, and, and it gets him. You know, it just, just a little taste. And then, and then you want it. You see. And now I need for Holland. But, but the issue, like I said, is I'm losing to shitters. So, so, so uh, this isn't going to be a ranked video, by the way, because my mental cannot handle it, man. I'm beating good players. I'm losing to shitters. It will never make sense to me. I, I, I whatever. Um, I don't even know what we're gonna play today, but I, I'll figure it out in a second, I guess. Look at it, fam. It was so beautiful. I had the border. Now it's fucking gone. Like I said, top 150 was the easy part, until it wasn't. Uh, until 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 I lost to like, multiple multiple shitters. It, it it's always it's. Do you know what it is, fam? It's either blasters or spear. I lose to these players, man. It, it doesn't matter. But it, 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 because they play them in a. In a, in a just degenerate way, and it it doesn't make sense. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, we'll we'll get it back. Don't don't worry. You know, maybe I even stream. Maybe maybe that's where the the maybe it's a good thing. You know, maybe, maybe it'll give me some motivation to to want to to stream this game, which is well, wow. even I. You see how my body rejected that sentence. I talked about streaming Brahala, and my body said, oh, I don't know about that one. It's not. It's never a good time. I mean, it is because of you lot, but. For the actual game. Oh my goodness. You need to fucking relax. Let's see what's going on. But yeah, man. Um anyway, I, I I've been I've been getting asked the same question a lot this week. So before I go on to talk about anything else, uh I, like I said, this, this this question, it's getting repeated to me over and over again. How do you find motivation to play ranked like how do you actually get in the ranked queue and keep playing this fucking degenerate game mode? I, 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 well, boy, uh, my brain hurts too much. We're not even going to talk about it. Anyway, um, I don't know, personally. I, I wish I had an answer to that all the time. Um, because, I, you know, when you're not feeling motivated, it is fucking impossible to actually grind this game and, and try to improve. Like, like straight up, it's just, it's not something, it's not feasible. Like, the game is, it's just cringe, you know, when you don't want to play it. But when you, when you actually want to improve and you have drive and you have motivation for whatever reason it may be, then you kind of just deal with the cringery. Like, you know, the cringery never goes. You, you can never fix the fucking, the game, okay? The, the game and the players that inhabit the game will, will always be the same. The thing you can fix, though, is obviously, like I said, the actual motivation you have. Um, and like I said, if you're, if you're struggling to find motivation, then, then you're kind of finished. And I, I do not have an answer for you. But, you know, but yeah, there are, there's a lot of things that could push you to want to improve. Um, BCX happening, has, I think, has pushed a lot of people to want to grind and, and get better lately. Um, you know, just, just like, not even people who went, but even people who just watched the tournament. I mean, for me, just watching the tournament kind of made me want to, you know, improve. Another thing, and the thing that I'm sure most people, you know, like, get motivated by is obviously the ranks. Um, like, you know, hitting diamond for the first time, hitting plat for the first time, etc, etc. You know, that can always motivate you, and that's always there. And, I mean, unless you're already Valhallen, then th there's always something to work towards. Um, I will say, obviously, it gets difficult when you've already hit diamond because, okay, I, f I genuinely hate great. This weapon, by the way, brothers call this weapon, like, bad. Excuse me? Did you just see me dodge a different direction every time? But he literally just guessed. He just fucking guessed. He just said, yeah, well, it's 50-50 anyway. I don't even need to read you, fam. I just guess, and then I get four hits, uncontested, and it kills, and just... Yeah, man. Anyway, uh, sorry, but my mental today is, is is absolutely done out, man. It's it's fucking beyond finished. Just uh, never. I don't know why I play rank before recording. It's never good. It never ends up. Nothing good comes from it. Ah, uh, that's my entire stock deleted. I jumped into that to be fair. That's a bit of a skill issue. Um, what the fuck? Just I want to just end it. I, I I don't. I don't have the the effort really. If it was still ranked, uh, maybe I uh, just. What can, what can I do? What can I actually do here? Recovery? Thank God. Anyway. Yeah. Um, it, when you get past Diamond, obviously the difference between Diamond and, and Valhallen is like quite large. So it is difficult to 
just be like, oh, well, you know, now I grind for Valhalla because, like I said, it's such a big fucking gap that you can't really just do that, you know? You, you kind of need something first between Diamond and Valhalla, which is why I said in the first place when I was talking about, you know, new ranks getting added to this game, I said I hope they make something that's achievable for, like, freshly Diamond players. Or not achievable, because obviously Diamond isn't achievable for someone who's just hit plat, but it's something, like, very, very easily worked towards. Like, you can get there with ease, you know? Well, not ease. You know what I'm trying to say. It's not out of reach. Diamond to Valhalla, I think, is much, much fucking harder. We're, you know what? It's not even comparable. So I think there should be something in the middle for, like, players who just can't. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Other than ranks, like I said, something like BCX, something like having, like, pro friends. I, that That's one of the bigger ones for me. Now that, you know, everyone is kind of... I don't know. Most of my friend group, like, most of my Brahada friend group don't really play the game anymore today. Like, this year was, like, their last year really playing and... and you know, trying in tournaments and shit for a lot of them anyway. You know, like Poly Shot quit, M for Mini doesn't really play, Blue still plays, but it's not the same. You know, Zyder still playing. But you know, that like, yeah, having like friends that are pro players is is definitely a contributor. But obviously not everyone's going to have friends that are pro players. Um, Yeah, I don't know. Only other things really would be like creating content, you know, like you want to get good before you can start creating content. Uh, content? Wow, I turned the extra fucking British for a second. Jesus Christ. Content. There you go. Anyway, like me, personally, uh, I always wanted to make brawl content. But I just, like, I, I thought I was just too shit. You know, and I know there's, like, a lot of content creators that are shit and they still make, like, good content. You know, it's not that you have to be good to make good content. Uh, of course not. Like, you know, Shwerpy. Well, Shwerpy's alright, I, I think, anyway. Um... But, like, you know, he started and I'm, I'm sure he was, like, plat or, you know, he, he was not good when he started making content is is uh, is my point. Yeah, you are not coming back to this fucking stage. You can keep trying. You're not getting there at all. Um, I don't know how good Planet Micro is, but th th there's a lot of shit content creators, okay? Not shit in terms of creating content, but shit at the game and create good content is what I'm trying to say. But, I mean, it always helps if you're good, you know? For, for no matter what you're doing content-wise, if you're good, it will help. Montages, obviously, you know, there's, there's a benefit to being good. Um, Just even what I do, you know, if you try and do what I do, which, who else does what I do? x -Soup, actually, how the fuck am I forgetting the GOAT? Um, But yeah, like commentary or something, you know, being able to be at least decent at the game is going to help you while you're sat there talking to the fucking, to the game, talking to yourself like a, like an insane fucking Arkham Asylum inmate. Would you call it, would you call someone who's in an asylum an inmate? Because it's like medical reasons, but that makes him sound like a prisoner. I don't really know. Anyway, um, but you see what I'm trying to say, right? It helps. Uh, so, so yeah, content uh, is an obvious one. And then just wanting to become pro. I mean, I, I cannot give you any other reason i think every single reason i've just listed are the only reasons you could ever want to get good like get good at this game fucking hell, i cannot speak because like, like if you don't want to get good at the game but you want to hit like diamond or you want to improve why do you want to improve if you don't want to get good like just so you can beat your friends in which case that in itself is a motivator you know i mean you know when i started and i was fucking dog shit at the game i was silver or whatever you start at. you still start at silver yeah or well, you know what i'm talking about um yeah, beating my friends, the friends that I started with, like my IRL friends that used to play the game, um, that I started with. Just beating them was was a was a big motivator, and wanting to be good with them and like impress them, you know, with doing some like combos, and cool shit, you know, clipping them, carrying them in twos, etc., etc. I mean, that in itself, I would say, is a motivator. But yeah, as you get like higher up, that becomes less and less motivation. Which, like I said once again, is why I really do wish they had made something before Valhallen. Um, but I mean, yeah. I don't know, for, for as much as I wanted to SD all three of my stocks in real life today, uh, in those few ranked games I just played, um, I, I would say if you're going to grind, hop in the queue and, and actually just don't get pissed off. Just don't. Like, my mental is usually always really, really good in ranked, which you might not believe because I hop in experimental, I get hit by one string and I, I genuinely, I'm, I'm fucking bashing up my desk. I hate this game mode with, with a severe burning passion. But you have to remember in ranked, you're not going to improve. You have to actually try your fucking hardest. Because that, that the only times I will tilt in ranked is like today, where I, you know, I hopped in ranked to warm up, you know, for the, like just to record this video. Um, which is, is, it's not a good place to just relax, okay? It's not a relaxing fucking queue. It's where people are sweating. But in ranked, you cannot be mad at people for sweating. In fact, you have to, you have to like, just appreciate it. That's all you can do. 
Don't get pissed off. If your opponent does something cool, just fucking congratulate them in your head. Say, yeah, shit, that was, that was nice. Or take fucking notes, you know, so you don't get hit by it next time. Getting tilted any single time, even once in ranked, you're, you're not improving, fam. Because, you know, if you're getting tilted, it's because you've been fucked in, in some way, okay? And you have to kind of stop that fuckage from happening in the future. And by getting tilted, you're not even going to remember the fuckage happened. You know, well, you're not going to remember, remember how the fuckage happened. You'll remember the fuckage happened. I'm, I need to stop saying fuckage, sorry. But you see what I'm saying? Like, you remember how it happened, but you won't even know what happened. So you, because you're too busy being pissed off, you know? You won't remember how to, how to stop it in the future. Um, I don't know. There's, there's, I could make a whole video about mental. I feel like I have, even though I might not employ it, 100% of the time myself, which is, I think, normal for anyone to give advice, you know, not everyone who gives advice puts every single bit of their advice to use 24-7, um, but you see what I'm saying, right, I still think I can give very good, like, mental advice, so I don't know, maybe I'll, in terms of Brahalla, I roll you're in your own fam, I can't lie, um, but yeah, in terms of Brahalla, I definitely can, so if you don't want to see a video about that one day, because I think that's fully the most important thing, especially when it comes to grinding ranked as well, um, yeah, you, need, you really, really, really need to have good mental. Or just even becoming a good player. Even when you become good, to actually keep up with everyone, you need to have a good mental because you cannot practice this fucking game with a bad one. But yeah, man, like you just got to think, how are you going to be able to grind? If you just get pissed off after getting like one stock taken off your ranked and then you lose that game and you've just gone 0-1 and in your ranked session, you're probably done then. The whole, the whole session is finished. If you take everything in stride, though, and you, you know, in your head, you compliment your opponent, you're like, oh, that, that was actually, that was clean, you know? And, and then you'll remember what they've just done, and, and you, you'll fucking prevent getting hit by it in the future, etc., etc. Then, you know, that first game is completely different, and then you'll have a second game, and the second game you won't get tilted, and then you'll want to carry on, and, you know, it is, it's just mental. It's literally all fucking mental. The game is 90% mental, I'll be, I'll be real with you, man. I'm, well, not... 90% but you know once you're even like diamond plus or maybe not diamond plus but let's say like 2300 plus right it's all fucking mental at that point you can improve but you're even you're having shit mental even stops you improving really so i don't know you see what i'm trying to say though um i mean yeah that, that, that's all the tips i can really give you it's fucking hard to stay motivated to want to improve in this game and to stay in the ranked queue but, I mean, that's just the thing. If you want to improve, you will. If you, if you if you don't, there's quite literally no reason for you to be playing ranked anyway. So just don't bother. You, you're, you're, you're setting yourself for no reason. This is why I don't. I didn't play a single. I hit 2,500 that one season or two seasons ago. And then the next season, I didn't play a single game of ranked. Well, I did just to hit diamond and then I stopped because I, I, I burnt out of the game. I didn't want to improve after that. I was like, okay, I know that if I did practice, I could be a good player. And then once I validated myself in that way, I was like, yep, yeah, fuck it. I don't care anymore. Uh, I'm, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not in for another season of, of that grind. Uh, so I just didn't play because like I said, there's no fucking point. If, if you don't want to get better, don't fucking stress yourself because it is stressful playing fucking ranked in this game and sweating as hard as you have to, to beat some of these players. Because I mean, even, even like I was saying, you know, those, those games I played before coming on and, and recording, they, they were fucking trying harder than I've ever seen anyone try it ever. And it's just that I wasn't matching the energy. See what I'm saying? You know, I, I'm assuming from the from the you know the emotes at the end of the game and and, and everything that you know they see my name, they, they might have watched a video or, or just heard of me or something like that, and and they're like, oh, I have to be him. Little Twitter screenshot, little Twitter post, or you just I don't know, send it to my my Discord, and and there you go, fucking in a full sweat, mother father on the line, everything. Uh, and and I mean I'm not keeping up with that if I just can't be asked. Like they just wanted to win more than me. They did, and yeah. So I'm trying to say it's just I, okay. I guess this guy wants to win more than me. That's that's fucking insane. That I just dropped that. Oh wow. Um. But anyway, that, that's basically it in terms of in terms of that. I don't really have anything else to talk about. Recovery weapon throw. There. I'm shit at the game. Still alive. Watch. Drop through. Prick. Um, the silent circle. I'll say it does. Thank you. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, I, I don't even fucking know what else I'm gonna talk about today, man. I, I don't know. Uh, God of War. I want to play God of War. The game looks sick. I was, you know what? Actually, one thing I was gonna talk about was like extremes versus like other extremes. And what I mean by that is like things like, would you rather be too hot or too cold? Um, and just, to, I mean, like, you know, I feel like these are the most arguable things when it comes to like any discussion on planet earth is like one extreme versus the other 
like like you know too hot versus too cold right there's gonna be it's gonna be 50 50 all the time personally i think too hot it's a fucking awful feeling because okay too cold right you could argue you know you can just warm yourself up like there's there's a lot i'm gonna get fucking wall sip because i'm playing like a bitch right now apologies to this guy i just i don't know i was autopiloting on the fucking wall need to get that one out of the muscle memory asap anyway um but yeah like, like i was saying man it's just you could say you could warm yourself up easier than you could cool yourself down, but at the same time, being cold, it impairs you. Being hot is like, you're still fine, right? But like being cold, you can't move your fucking fingers. You know, you're sat there, you're, you're fucking freezing cold, you're shivering, you're, you're, your legs are going like you're like a baby deer. You know, you're fucking, like I said, you can't move your fingers, you can't move your hands. Uh, your, your jaws rattling, your teeth are shattering. Like, it's just, yeah, it impairs you, I feel like. Being hot is just... It's uncomfortable. It's definitely uncomfortable. I'm too hot right now, if, if I'm honest with you. I, I know I've been complaining about it being fucking freezing, but uh, I have I have way more than way more than too many layers on even at the moment. I'm 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 prepared. Had enough of being fucking cold, man. But yeah, being too hot is it's alright. I mean, you, unless it's to the point where even if even if you got completely like cock naked, you, you were still boiling, then at that point it's probably not very fun because there's probably nothing you can do to actually get cold i don't know this is what i'm saying it's this divisive other things are like and okay this one is an easy answer for me i don't know it's probably an easy answer for a lot of people i need to know your thoughts though okay because like i said this is, this is a very easy one for me but being um let's say would it be easier to go on a on a diet where like you can eat fuck all or would it be easier to you know go on a bulk and try and eat loads for me way 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 fucking easier to, if i was to diet I could quite comfortably just not eat a meal for like two days. Well, maybe not two days. You know, I, I get um, I get angry when I'm hungry. You know, I get genuinely so pissed so easy. Or not even just angry. I just get emotional in general. I'm like a fucking woman, fam. It, 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 I don't know, man. By the way, just just some just some advice. You know, you, you, you're all probably a bit younger. Never let your girlfriend get hungry. Okay, that, that, that's how you problems fucking begin. Trust me. It, like like I said, I get emotional when I'm hungry, okay? But I've never I've never been with a girl who hasn't just, just gone fucking insane. If they don't drink for too long or they don't eat for too long, fam, it's different. Don't know what it is. It must be like biological or something, man. But uh, just 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 some advice, okay? I'm trying to save you a lot. Anyway. Um yeah, fam, I, I, bulking is fucking difficult though. Cause okay, one, you have to like dedicate your entire day to actually prepping meals or making food. I mean you could just eat like mcdonald's or something but even then you're spending money it, it's quite literally it takes less effort and costs piss all it costs quite literally nothing to um to diet right like you just have to not eat food it's actually fucking easy it's free and like i said no money either you're not spending money on takeaways you know it's th th there's no effort to it you might feel hungry but then you go to sleep and you wake up and you're not hungry anymore because I, I don't even know why that is i don't know why you can go to bed fucking starving and then you wake up and you're just not hungry anymore kind of weird you'd think you'd be more hungry uh, i guess i don't even have an answer for it i'm not a scientist i'm a brother player god I, i've tried to book in the past and it's just fucking miserable is it like you spend you're just 24s you're just full like you feel awful like food is disgusting at that point you're not eating for pleasure you're, you're eating like for like fuel fam you're eating it's like a job it's just i don't know man i, I really do not enjoy it um but yeah it's and like, and like i said you spend so much time as well getting everything ready and it, i don't know man it's just so much easier to die it is what i mean fat brothers have no excuse unless you just enjoy being fat which is like yeah sure i mean go for it no one else's business other than yours unless you're trying to say that being fat fat even is healthy in which case um I don't know about that one. I, I've been seeing that a lot, you know, lately, which is like, it's just... This year that we live in, 2022, is quite an interesting fucking year. Like I said, fam, if you're fat and you just enjoy being fat, you know, that, that's just your style. You know, that's completely fine. However, when these fat brothers try to say, like, oh, you're, you're fat shaming. You, like, people will see people lose weight, and I'm not even joking. This is this is something I've been seeing loads on, like, TikTok and, and shit. It's like, or Twitter as well. Or Twitter is a fucking... I mean, obviously, I've been seeing it on Twitter. Very interesting place, full of interesting people. What in the fuck did I just see? You lot saw that too, right? I hope so. Anyway, it's like, yeah, people will lose weight, right? They'll, they'll do this fucking amazing, like, transformation of themselves. And and then all, like, uh, there'll be comments from, like, fat people being like, 
be like, oh, you're so fucking fat phobic. You, why weren't you happy with how you were before? Or you hate fat people or something. What is fucking wrong with you? Do you know what I mean? Like, that's something to be so proud of, is losing all that weight. You know, they obviously weren't happy with themselves. Because it's not healthy. How can you... Do you get what I'm saying? Like, like I said, if that's fine, if you don't want to be healthy, then that's fine. But, you know, at the end of the day, you're not healthy. It, like, uh, I don't know, man. Like I said, the fact that people like that actually have, like, an audience and a backing is fucking insane to me. Like, th those are people that... Well, I mean, they don't exist in real life. Like, it's just, like I said, Twitter and, like, TikTok comments and shit. Like, they're actually not real people. I refuse to believe it. I've never met someone like that in real life because they're too busy being online, right? But, like, it is fucking crazy, man. And then they'll try and say that f being fat is healthy and it's a good thing. Like, don't don't lie. You can lie to yourself, but don't lie to other people because, I mean, it's just damaging at that point. I don't know. It's cringe. It's really cringe. I mean, I can make a whole video about, like, cancel culture and... People like that, like the chronically online people. I, maybe I will one day, you know. Maybe one day I'll become like a Call of Duty fucking commentary ch uh, channel, even like, like the old days. Fucking Wings of Redemption 2.0. Wait, that's not that's not good to be like Wings of Redemption, actually. But see what I'm saying? Um, maybe you don't see what I'm saying. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe one day we'll, we'll talk about that. But it, it's just it's just fucking cringe. There's some cringe people. But like I said, they only exist online. So all you got to do really is walk outside your heart. Uh, your, I try, fam. I'm trying to say three different words as one word constantly. Why? Why can't my brain pick one? Stop cycling, man. Pick a pick a fucking word, please. Anyway, you can just walk outside your yard. You can walk outside your house. You can walk outside your gaff. You can walk outside whatever you want to call it, and and they're gone, disappeared, fam. Close your phone, turn your phone off, and and people go back to normal. It's crazy. Like you start to think, wow, is the world going to shit? And then you walk outside. You go to your, you go to a shop, or you, you know you, you talk to anyone. I roll and you realize, oh no, it was, it's just TikTok, it's just Twitter. It, it's really comforting actually, because for a second you think we've lost it, you think, you think it, it's all lost, it's gone to shit. But no, it's it, it's still fine. Just, um, yeah, man, I, I don't even know. Uh, anyway, like I said, not real people, I think. It's, we, we live in the Matrix, alright? Uh, in conclusion. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, I forgot to say... Oh, fuck. Oh, that was, a, that was an ungodly stretch. Heavenly, in fact. But yeah, I forgot to say it in the video. Because because I have no memory. I, I think I'm going demented early. Um, you, you leave a like. Subscribe if you want. Uh, it, it really helps me out. And uh, yeah, until next time. Have a great year days. I love you all. And um, I, I, I'm definitely missing something. I always am. I, I can't out your videos because I always think I'm fucking forgetting to say something. Anyway, let, let me just go. Peace.